Hey everybody, Luke here, and today we're looking at uh, BPPV or vertigo. This is positional vertigo, so I've got another video on um, BPPV and what causes vertigo, and so we're looking at those little crystals that get stuck in your inner ear, and then they're floating around. So if you think you have that, um, the easiest thing you can do to test for it for the most common type of vertigo is called the dix Hallpike test, and I'm gonna show you that today, and then I'll kind of explain how you interpret it, and then in a different video I'll tell you how to treat it. So the dix Hallpike, um, we're testing left ear versus right ear, so again, if you get vertigo or that sensation of spinning when you tip your head back or tip it forward or move too quickly side to side. Sometimes when you roll over in bed too, although that can be another type of vertigo as well. But if you get that type of vertigo, this is the easiest place to start in terms of testing it and seeing if you get a positive response. So what you would do is you would start, and if you're going to do this at home, um, obviously I like to have like a friend or a spouse or a loved one nearby because if you get vertigo it can be uh, uncomfortable so having some support I usually in the clinic I put a garbage can there just because like Murphy's Law um, hopefully if I grab it people don't end up having to vomit um, so that's nice um, so do that as well so what, how you're gonna do it you'll start this way so just out straight on your bed and then you want a surface where you can basically tip your head over the back so if I want to test my left side what I'm gonna do is turn my head to the left, tip my head back, and then I'm gonna basically just go backwards. So I'm gonna go backwards like this. So my head is turned to the left, it's tipped back, and it's extended hanging back. So if I do that on myself, and I get that sensation of vertigo, that's gonna be positive for, get out of here, for the left side. That's okay, that's Jamie. She'll be in a video someday. Oh gosh, all right, that's Jamie. So anyways, if you get that on the left side, um, and you get vertigo, that's positive for the left side. Now, if you have someone watching your eyeballs, um, basically what you're gonna see is your eyes are gonna basically like twist like this. We call that nystagmus. It's like a twisting motion like that. Um, now, if that's positive for that typical type of vertigo, which is the posterior canal, then again, it's gonna be a twisting motion. If it doesn't twist and if it goes side to side, that's something different. So watch another video I've got on that one called horizontal canal. BPPV, so that's different. So again, if you're looking to start with the Dix Hall Pike and you're looking to see if it's that traditional type of vertigo, which for let's say 80% of people it is, that's what it should look like. So again, have a friend or a spouse nearby to watch your eyeballs. Um, test both sides. The majority of folks are gonna have it on one side. Uh, if you're not too fortunate, sometimes if you had more like an accident, like hit your head, sometimes you'll get it on both sides. If that's the case, treat which side is the worst in terms of how it feels and how your eyeballs kind of twist around. Um, so that's how you test for that most common type of vertigo. Uh, in another video, I'm going to show you, if you have that, how, we, how can you re, uh, reposition yourself and how I do it in the clinic here. And um, some people can probably do it at home. Some people probably need our help. So um, that's it for today for testing it. The next video, look for it, will be the Epley. Um, for repositioning, and then I'll have another video, video on horizontal canal, so again, if your eyeballs are moving sideways. So look for those other videos as well. Thanks for watching.